Cause I'm the E 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 I don't slang up bang, I just smoke motherfuckers like it ain't no thing What's up everyone, Andy here, and I'm just gonna do a quick, quick, kind of quick recap of my American Pro performance. So the number one goal for this meet was 1,000 kilos, 2204, no matter what. Uh, that's the only goal I had coming into it. Um, been chasing that for five years. Uh, 2017, I, I totaled 2193, so I was so close. And actually at that time, I was number two uh, all time and at 275. I was only like 30 pounds away from Stan Efforting. And I think at that time I was just kind of really rushing uh, competing so I could break that record. And I think I was just ignoring little injuries and I just kept 
you know, getting injured, then rehabbing and then competing right away just so I can break that record. But I think in, in, in hindsight, that was kind of like not the right thing to do. Um, so just injuries get getting worse and just delaying actually having like a solid off season and taking my time and making progress. Um, I was just chasing that number. So that's just definitely something I would, I would uh, advise uh, newer lifters or just any lifter to like not chase numbers um, versus taking the time to like have a proper off season, be healthy, then make progress in the off season and then pick a meet. Uh, whereas I was just rushing because I really wanted to hit that number and it was right there. You know, my first three years or like, my, I've competed five years prior to that, but I didn't really take it serious like, until like three years prior. And I added like over 300 pounds to my total. So I was kind of like on a roll, on fire. I was going nine for nine, just setting all these <clears throat> big PRs. So it was just a big reality hit. And so for the last five years, I've been dealing with, you know, injuries. I, I nailed, I listed them the other day. It was like both tore both adductors, uh, MCL, meniscus, ACL, tore quad, tore bicep, forearm, torn both my pecs, like, you know, not majorly, but in, in any way. And then just in addition to like, a number of just muscular injuries that, you know, didn't tear, but just required a lot of like backing off and rehab and stuff like that. So, but anyways, that was my number one goal. And we had a game plan going in. Um, the game plan for squats was get a small two and a half kilo PR, 848, which I, which I hit uh, at the meet and it was moved really well. I had a little bit left in the tank, so I'm really happy with that. I didn't have to grind it. And if I did, that would have, you know, put a lot of pressure on, on deadlift. I probably wouldn't have gotten the deadlift I needed. Um, bench was the biggest question mark going into uh, this meet. Um, I think five or six weeks out, I doubled 501, which was like a really good sign. It was a PR. Uh, but then I always, towards the end of, uh, of a prep, from my squatting, my forearms and elbows and biceps just take a beating. And, um, and it's, it's just so painful. Sometimes I can't even like curl 20 pounds or even like put a weight on. Like John will tell you, I'm like grabbing the weight off the, 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 the bar, like hugging it. So I don't have to like bend my forearm. So um, that's just something I dealt with. And so I didn't really hit any big lifts past 512 at like four weeks out. So. It's kind of a question mark, um, but the plan was 518. Um, opener move well, 474. Uh, second attempt was 501. Uh, that was kind of a grinder, so it wasn't a great. So um, I liked it to take 512, uh, but I knew that that would put more pressure on my deadlift. I had to go a little bit heavier, but um, there's I have more room on the deadlift than the, the bench for sure. So it turned out to be the exact number because I grinded that out you'll see from the footage it was like a five second <laughs> press um, and the press make commands were a little longer uh, than we we're used to um, which you know you can't complain that's just how it is sometimes it depends on the ref um, but anyways got 512 so now uh, I had to pull 843 uh, for the 2200 um, the plan was 838 but uh, and I pulled 827 in training which it moved pretty well, so I knew I had a little bit of a uh, play there. Um, that's why I liked it to do the 512 on bench. So um, warm-ups for deadlift, uh, they were not great. They were uh, moving really slow. My left glute, which has been bothering me off and on for last year or so, uh, it started acting up. So it, like when it really bothers me, like uh, towards the top of extension, when I extend my glutes, it just has this sharp pain that can like sometimes just shut me down. Um, so like warm ups did not feel great and I was really, to be honest, I was really kind of like pissed off and like really sad. I was like, this is not going to happen. Like after going six for six, this is, this is how it's going to be. I was really upset, but, um, and usually, uh, at the gym, I'll use a weight tree and I'll like dig my hip into the, the, the arm of a, whatever sleeve of a weight tree. Um, but the one at the meet, like there's no weight on it. So like anytime I try to get on it, it would just move. So it didn't help me. Um, like a ball doesn't, it, rolling on a ball is not enough for me. It's not enough pressure. It just doesn't get deep enough. So um, luckily after like my last warm up, people started putting the weight back on the tree. And so finally I had enough weight on there that I could actually dig into there. And it started loosening up a little bit. And when I went to do my opener, it felt decent enough. So I opened at 754, uh, went up to 804 my second, went back. 
dug some more. And so 804 moved pretty good, well enough to where 843 was, was kind of like, I was like, all right, I got this. It's going to be like tough, but I got, I'm going to go for it. So um, basically, yeah, you guys saw, I uh, got it. Um, it was a little little soft on the lockout. I got one red light, which happens sometimes um, because I think, I mean, I, I think I was like pretty much locked out, but I think with my body, that's how big my legs are. Um, it, it looks like my hips are behind me, but just because my quad, it, it just pops out so much. Um, and I have a small butt. I'm just blaming it on that. Uh, but either way, I got it. I'm happy. Thousand kilos, five years chasing that. Um, so of course the next question is what's next. Um, we have planned, I have planned for to do the USPA pro, uh, eight weeks after. Um, but to me, it was kind of like a backup in case this one didn't go the way it, it did. Um, but since it did, well, there's not much progress I can make in eight weeks. Um, yeah, I'm not hurt, but also I'm not going to like be able to make a lot of progress. Um, you know, after deloading for a week and then just ramping back up and there's not an immediate goal that I can make or hit. Um, so I'm, I'm probably not going to, well, I'm 99% sure I'm not going to do that meet. I'm just going to go there, help handle John and, and whoever might need to. And then kind of just go into off season. And then um, I think my next goal, the next person above me, uh, the total is 2237. So, you know, it's, it's only 40, sorry. It's going to be 40 pounds away to get to 43, uh, 2243. So I think that's to be my next goal. I'll just have to figure out like what, what length of time I want my off season to be and how, how much, um, and then what meat is in within, you know, the next six months, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's my next goal. Like I said, very happy with the meat. Um, as far as how the meat was ran, it was awesome. It was probably the best meat I've ever been a part of. And, you know, I, I think John agrees. We've been a part of the, some of the biggest meats in the world. And this one, pr from a production standpoint, is definitely the best. You know, they had all the, the screens and the live uh, camera. And then the commentary was pretty good for the most part, except for, uh, you know, Garrett's delivery is sometimes a little exaggerated and harsh. Um, but I do agree with, with his comments on some of the judging. And not everyone's going to agree with it, especially if he uses you as an example, but you shouldn't take it personal. It's just about the actual call, no matter who, do, who makes the lift. Um, you know, it's it just needed. We have to standardize and, and be better with calls and be more consistent. Um, the first day was a little rough on the, on the end on the deadlifts, but on the second day, I think uh, for the most part, it was, you know, uh, right on. And just how the meat was ran, uh, I think the only complaint I have from the meat standpoint is uh, the warm-up room. There's only two model lifts. And when you have, you know, big-time squatters and there's 12, 14 people in your flight and you warm up up to, like, 800 pounds, you need more time. And the, the flights are just moving fast and there's only two model lifts. There wasn't enough reds. Uh, so the people were really rushed in the warm-ups. Um, so, but that's something that's very fixable, very doable. You just gotta, you know, get more plates or get one more mono, mono lift. So, uh, I think that's a simple fix. But other than that, like I said, the meet was great, and I applaud uh, Micah and his team and Anna and A1 Digital. And I hope this continues next year, obviously, and just keeps growing. And I definitely think uh, uh, it's going to be a great meet, and and I hope people come out to it more. Uh, it was definitely the crowd was. You know, standing room only, so it was intimate. It wasn't huge, but it was intimate, so it felt really loud. And then um, I think the cool part, I, I'm, I'm very uh, bougie about my song choice. So he let us choose our own songs for the third attempts. So that was cool. And, um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's my recap. Like I said, I'm very happy. Uh, it's been a long ride to this point. Uh, let's ride. Let's ride. Let's ride. <laughs> um, we're Russell Wilson fans, so we just, let's ride. Uh, so yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for joining, and for anybody who you know left comments and, and all that stuff, it's very happy. Um, now we're getting ready to celebrate my birthday weekend, going to Vegas, and pretty much celebrate the rest of the month. So um, I'm going to enjoy that, and then you know take a few weeks just to like not off, just train a little bit differently. I'm going to lose a little bit some weight. Uh, you know, as a matter from cutting out, you know, supplements 
and just eating less and doing more cardio and just getting into more um, bodybuilding type training, I'll lose probably six to eight pounds. I'll probably hover around 275 versus like 283 and just be, you know, lean and sexy for the summer. And um, so yeah, we'll, we'll update you next time on uh, our, probably update you on John's prep and then me just being in the background. So don't suck. <laughs>